Hello, Maui. This is the Alive and Well Natural Therapies Hour with your host, Mona Jones. And Dennis Jones. Aloha. Thank you for joining us today. We've got an exciting show for you, some incredible testimonials, of course, and the latest news on what nutrition can really do for you to improve your health. And we're nutrition specialists with over 34 years' experience in the field of alternative health therapies and also the proud and happy owners of Alive and Well at 340 Hana Highway, Kahului, where we're always very well well fed by that gorgeous, glamorous, marvelously gourmet deli at Alive and Well. And thank you for all of your praise and all of your input and all of your participation in the party that goes on every single day at Alive Well. It is a party. We really feel that we're having a great time while improving our health dramatically. And uh, we have amazing testimonials for you today. We want to let you know that, again, but you have to understand, we're really not going after you. We haven't lassoed anybody yet. We don't have any Roy Rogers here in the cast. So nobody's running after you and saying, okay, give us a testimonial. You don't get out the door. The only time I definitely do that is when there's a, a, a pregnant lady and she hasn't bought her fish oils. I say, we are going to throw ourselves in front of that door. It's rather hard because the door opens automatically. But as much as we can, we're trying to prevent her from going without taking the fish oils. But other than that, we don't, anticipate, we don't uh, uh, solicit testimonials. And you come and you share amazing ones uh, with us. So uh, it's it's really awesome. This week was uh, <laughs> kind of banner in the sense that so many people came in and told us wonderful things. You know, I had a lady then, oh, but before I say anything, let me first say. You De- are not a doctor. No, and Dennis isn't a doctor. We are not doctors. We don't claim to be doctors. We don't put people on medications or take them off medications. That has to do with what a doctor's province. That's what a doctor does. But we do not do that. We are nutritional educators, giving people information about what nutrition has proved to do for people in clinical trials, what nutrients, nutrition, good diet, et cetera, has has been proven to do by doctors in clinical trials. And you can, I know that that your freedoms are very, I wouldn't say slowly, but very definitely being eroded away, but you still are able Uh, to make your decisions about what you want to take in spite of the FDA. So uh, you come and you share this with us, and we're going to share some of these great stories with you. I have a testimonial that says, the doctor said to the woman, get used to it. This is as good as it's going to get. You have to learn to live with it. This is a woman who was in her 80s who had fibromyalgia, fibrillating heart, congestive heart disease, on many drugs for a long period of time, and no positive response. And the doctors replied to, what can I do, doctor? What, yeah, what can we do to improve my health? He says, get used to it. This is as good as it's ever going to get. Well, folks, she didn't take that at face value. She and her son embarked on a nutritional program. Things had been proven to stop fibrillations, irregular uh, uh, beatings of the heart, and reduce the congestive heart disease symptoms, in fact, grow a stronger heart. Her entire heart cardiovascular picture improved dramatically by the inclusion of nutrients, vitamins and minerals and fish oil and the amino acid taurine and inositol and B vitamins and coenzyme Q10 and L-carnitine. All of these things strengthened her heart dramatically. And in a matter of days, this incurable heart condition, says the son, was no longer an incurable heart condition. And the doctor, again, was, oh, agape. His mouth dropped, that is. And he says, it's incredible what is going on told him what nutrients they were using, and uh, of course he's not recommending these to other people. He's still recommending the same standard procedure of take the drugs. If it doesn't work, then you just have to learn to live with it. But this is one person who didn't learn to live with it. This is one person that learned how to go way above and beyond that and, again, regain her health. She took back her health with her son's help of having a vital, strong heart, no more fibrillations, no more the and, and they were able to get off of many of the drugs that she was on simply by including the right nutrients. That's, That's incredible. It is absolutely wonderful. But you it's know, not uncommon. 
No, it's completely common. But you know, what, what, this just, what occurred to me as I'm listening to this, you're talking about an older person mm-hmm. going through this and how they quickly resign. You know, oh, that's it. Nothing can be done. I, I know uh, that was uh, a neighbor of mine and friend has certainly gone. Uh, I wasn't even thinking of mentioning this as a testimonial, but she had the swelling of the ankles, and she's a real walker and a real doer, and she's full of life, and she's older, though, in years, and uh, the, le- the ankles are swelling up, and she was finding that she had a hard time walking and moving her legs around. And I really told her that, you know, you really have to uh, consider... Uh, increasing the amount of circulation you take, which is nutrients that help to build the health of the veins and arteries and get more blood flow, super pure EPA, the highest grade fish oils, etc., et and taking more of the Cardio Q10, the highest absorption form of Q10. She ch- took that advice. I saw her walking near the house, pulled up <laughs> right near where I, because we live not far from each other. I pulled over the car. She started talking. She says, oh, uh, my legs are better. My ankles are better. This was in, within a week. Yeah. This was one week, though going from doctor to doctor, it hadn't served any purpose. Again, I'm s- not saying a thing against doctors. It's doctors that have proved in clinical trials what these nutrients can do. But there has to be a line of connection between what doctors prove in clinical trials and what they give to people in the offices. And uh, it's called integrative medicine. That's, there's a lot of these centers springing up in a lot of major cities where this is happening more and more. Where in an emergency, you, the, if there's a necess- absolute necessary to use the medication, use it. But remember the, the continual incredible advantage of using the nutrients and give it to the patients. Now, you know, one thing, though, that came to me as I'm hearing this testimony, Dan, you were talking about the fibrillation of the heart, older people. You know, we've read, here's another statistic, and it's brought out in th- relative to why older people are getting a lot of this fibrillation. Here's a common drug given, especially to older women, commonly given. And Julian Whitaker, medical doctor, applauding that doctor for his uh, commitment to good nutrition and helping people. Um, he's quoting here, and we'll talk more about it later, that Fosamax and, these, uh, and, and the, the drugs of this category, he calls them biophosphonates. Actinel, Reclast, Fosamax, a bestseller at 1.7 billion a year, a year alone, Boniva. He says Fosamax is linked with horrendous condition called osteonecrosis of the jaw that results in deterioration and death of jawbone. But hear this. Fosamax also increases risk of atrial fibrillation. Mm -hmm. That's that irregular heartbeat, very dangerous, by 86%. And then he goes on to say, in a June 2008 study revealed that long-term use actually raises risk of stress fractures in the bones of the legs. Now, are we hearing That's this? That's been proven over and over, over again. Over and over. But it also, they're giving these drugs commonly to older people because, it's ser- because of the money involved and because of the delusion that that's going to help build bone and when it doesn't. And then they don't recognize this, the adverse events when they do occur. Exactly. They say, no, 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 it's just your age. You have a weak heart. There you go. Okay. That's right. It's drug-induced, folks. Right. If you're taking drugs and having undesirable side effects, un- undesirable occurrences in your life, First, look at the drugs. That's what every holistic physician says. If you're taking drugs that drugs all have, undesirable side effects, it's simply a matter of winding your way through the undesirable side effect weed weed patch to find the one that's bothering you. Your doctor may not be a great deal of help because so many times people go to the doctor and say, I have this symptom, this sore muscles, I have uh, no, no energy, my heart, I feel like my heart is, 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 is so very weak. And he says, well, you, how old are you? You're 75, you're 80 years old, are you, what do you expect, to live forever? No, doc, it might be the statin drugs I'm on, because I hear side effects of statin drugs are these very same side effects. No, 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 that doesn't occur, it doesn't occur. 